Hey, hey, it's Wayne with HaveToFlip.com. It is Tuesday. <clears throat> I'm running on like zero sleep. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that I'm going to be semi productive today. So, not a really good day in sales. Uh, two orders. Uh, unfortunately, Poshmark isn't one of those two, but eBay is. Um, store one has been doing very good and is on the climb, which is excellent. That's what I want to see. Um, we've been posting hard goods onto it. So a lot of the stuff that we've been selling has been. So, uh, what I wanted to do today is I kind of wanted to go to the bins today. Um, it has not been the most pleasant morning. So, uh, extremely high winds, um, torrential downpours, um, I actually have the door open right now, getting in fresh air. Doesn't happen very often, so when I can, uh, I, I want to have it open and uh, air it out a little bit. <clears throat> so it's been nice the last couple of days. Uh, it's close to the 60s. It's like 54 out there right now. Um, I would much rather have the door open and be 54 in here than them closed and uh, not. So... Uh, today, um, well, let me finish yesterday. What happened yesterday? So, uh, I didn't get as much done as I would like. I don't have a lot to, to focus on, uh, to be able to put back out. Um, I did go through the last couple loads that I did get. Uh, I pulled out as much as I could pull out for eBay. And then I had a handful of stuff that I've been wanting to do for, Macari. So I spent some time and put stuff out on Macari. Go figure. So uh, we listed about $100 on Macari. Um, I think it was about 10 items. And um, we're going to see how that goes. I uh, woke up this morning with uh, three likers. So I sent those offers out. I would like to at least get my first sell on Macari to kind of feel how things are going to work through Macari um, before I dump a ton of time into it. Uh, I keep hearing good things about it. I've not been impressed with the customer service, so it freaks me out a little bit, but I am not going to put it on the uh, back burner and uh, lose potential sales with only 10% um, sell cost or seller fees. Uh, you can put out those lower margin items. Uh, and a lot of the items that I've been trying to get have been uh, below that six ounce point. So they were only 425 to ship. And then up to 16 ounces is 499 to ship. So that's still not bad at all. So um, I have had to uh, put back some of the stuff that I thought I was going to put out on Macari uh, because of weight. Um, uh, I see the integration between the website and the app are different. That was kind of weird. <clears throat> I haven't figured out how I could send offers from the website. Uh, you, I really can't find <laughs> much information about anything. So uh, that's kind of why I want to kind of get it going and uh, be able to dive deeper into it once, you know, there's there's money transactions. So um, it's exciting. It's a new platform. Uh, some of the stuff that I would have had to sell at garage sales, I'm going to get a higher price out of on Macari or at least the same price and shipping it out. Um, so... If I can get the same amount out of an item and be able to get it now, then wait another month and a half uh, before our yard sale, it's, it might be worth listing. So uh, definitely, to me, it's a lot faster to uh, list on Macari than eBay and then probably Poshmark, too. So it's probably by far the quickest. Um, so I haven't had an issue. I've literally taken a picture, put it on there, and then I've 
uh, voice to text everything. So I just read the description off the package, uh, select the category, what price, list it, shoot the next one, go. So uh, I was quite surprised how fast it actually moved through it yesterday. So uh, hopefully uh, I'll be impressed with that too. So um, if I can get, you know, five or $600 off each one of these platforms, that'll be awesome. So uh, I'm probably going to finish listing those, get the rest of that stuff off of my table, uh, kind of all that stuff I pulled aside just to try on Macari. That way I have stuff out there to try. Uh, I've had two items out there on Macari now for probably two weeks and um, have not sold either one of those. Um, understandable. Uh, they weren't the most desirable items, so uh, we'll see. That's all I got to say. So today we're going to pull my two orders. Bummer. And um, share, share, share on Poshmark. I'm going to get these listed as fast as I can. And then I'm torn. Uh, do I focus some attention on Poshmark or do I try to get a couple things listed for eBay? I have a few that I have found that I sell similar. So I think I'm going to do those really quick. Uh, that way I can get at least a couple more listings out on eBay and keep that rolling. And then... Um, Get the Macari done, and then I still have 500 items to move over, and it is the 10th. 20 days, 20 days. So uh, I really need to put some focus on getting that stuff moved over, and I haven't been. Shame on me. Um, definitely gonna cut that store out. So I'm kind of excited, really. Get those fees paid. Um, and then I did pick up a cost of another item. Uh, I did a yearly subscription to a um, photo editor uh, that crops your photos, uh, the background's out. Uh, I am extremely impressed. I'm sure you guys would love to know what it was called. Uh, I don't know, I forget. I don't have my phone with me, but I can get it. So the app is called Photo Room. It's $9.99 a month or $40 for the year. Um, you get a three-day, as this was recorded right now, a three-day free trial to try it. And uh, so far, I've been extremely impressed uh, to the point where I'm spending the $40 for the, the year. Um, I heard it on another YouTuber's channel. I can't remember who it was, uh, but they, they had mentioned it. And uh, <clears throat> I tried it. Really, really cool. Um, the people there seem to be phenomenal. Uh, I wrote them uh, some of the things that I saw that, uh, could use improvements and they wrote right back. I need to write them again. Uh, they wanted me to elaborate on a couple more things and where they thought uh, a good placement would be for stuff. So, Hey, to me, that's worth the money to know that somebody is actually putting time and effort into their app to make it better already, which is awesome. So, uh, totally impressed, man. I, I've, I've shot a couple things, um, on different material backgrounds, uh, my floor, my table, the wall, um, grass. I wanted to see literally what the limitations was to it. Uh, it's pretty impressive. The only thing I've had issues with was glare, uh, the lighting, if there is cellophane or something on it every once in a while, it catches that cellophane. Um, glare as the background image, so uh, it'll start fading it out a little bit, but uh, You can replace backgrounds and everything else. It's pretty freaking incredible. So uh, I've been implementing that in my new system. So the only thing that I would really really like it to have is a um, one click background removal tool, so all I have to do is select the item select what background shape I have and it automatically saves it for me. 
Um, that way I don't have to do it. Uh, and of course, multiple um, image select would be awesome too. So I'm shooting hundreds and hundreds of pictures of clothings. Uh, I have to go into each individual one to remove the background, which in the app I was using originally, I would have to too, but um, it would be really nice to be like these hundred remove background. I'm shooting on a semi solid background anyways. So I, all my clothing I've never had an issue with. It's just been when I've been putting it on funky, other funky type backgrounds that have patterns or um, its own shadows uh, that it's having issues. So um, well, well, well worth the 40 bucks a year um, in just the few days that I've already done it. So uh, I don't like to pay for apps, but I'll pay for good ones. That's for sure. <coughs> uh, let me get off here. I need to get some stuff done. Uh, we got work tomorrow. So at some point I'm going to have to bunker down and start moving hundreds of items over to Poshmark. So uh, that's probably going to be my Thursday, which is fine. I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, I just know that in the morning I need to start early, uh, try to get 50 of them, 60 of them done in the morning, and, and then I can kind of space out those last, you know, 60, 70, 100 more that I need to get done and moved over throughout the day and just get that mass sit down done. Uh, that way I don't kind of get burned out and not want to do it like I have been. So till next time, guys, I hope your cells are rocking. I'm loving it. Summer is on its way. Take it easy. Peace. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And here we are. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe. So until then, I'll catch you on the flip side. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Toodaloo.